as they banter over whether or not Fulani militia under the aegis of the Mieti Ala group should be described as a terrorist group or not, continues. One thread that cuts across the widespread gruesome killings that this group is associated with is the high-end condemnation that Nigerians have at their activities. In Lagos, residents say the group of unknown gunmen must be brought to book. I, I, Ibram TV senior correspondent uh, Chinda uh, takes a look at this. Over the years, violence between Nigerian herders and farmers have escalated with an alarming statistics showing that in 2017 alone, over 202 pastoral Nigerians were killed in cold blood by Fulani herders who are now generally dubbed unknown gunmen. In 2019, at least 524 more unarmed Nigerians were murdered by these headsmen. And in this year alone, 2021, at least 335 persons are said to have met the untimely graves following attacks unleashed by these unknown gunmen. Reports according to the International Crisis Group, ICG has described escalating conflict between herdsmen and farmers in Nigeria as six times deadlier than Boko Haram-related attack, posing a great threat to the country's stability. In Lagos, residents continue to condemn these attacks. I'll, I'll see them as a terrorist. At least they are terrorizing Nigeria. Abi, they are not helping Nigeria. Unknown government, um, uh, they are the people that carry out an attack uh, without you knowing them, their source, where they are from. Uh, because you can't, you can't say, you can't tell the reason why they are attacking people why they are killing people. Uh, you can't say, oh, what is the problem? So, and you just see them coming out every now and then killing people unnecessarily, okay? And human being means nothing to them. They are accusing the government of Nigeria as treating insecurity with kids' gloves. Um, I actually think the government hasn't responded well to the situation. It can be managed properly. Um, late response to kidnap issues and stuff like that has actually um, undermined the effort of the government. The bandits in up north should be proscribed. It's as simple as that because the damage they are causing, killing innocent people, displacing people from their uh, uh, official home or residential home, displacing, destroying their businesses. Is it growing our economy or bringing the economy down? These are basic truths. So why are we painting colors? Only recently, the country's Minister for Information, Elijah Mohammed, strongly opined that the headers should not be dubbed a terrorist organization. Mary Chinda for Ibran TV. The Nigerian Communication Commission has said an Iranian hacking group known as Lyceum have been reported to start targeting telecoms, internet service providers, and ministries of foreign affairs in Nigeria and other African countries. The NCC said the group, also known as Hexen, uh, CM Mess Kitten, or uh, Sperlin, is targeting these companies with upgraded malware in recent politically motivated attacks oriented in cyber espionage. Now, a statement released on Monday, the NCC said information about the cyber attack is contained in the latest advisory issued by the Nigerian Computer Emergency Response Team. The NG cert rated the probability and damage level of the new malware as high. According to the commission, both malware and book uh, backdoors are able to communicate with the group's command and control that C2 service. The NCC added that the app maintains a C2 server network that connects to the group's backdoors consisting of over 2C domains, including six that were previously not associated with the threat actors. More Nigerians have continued to lament the hike in the price of liquefied petroleum gas, popularly called cooking gas, as the product is now being sold as much as 8,150 naira or 55 naira for 12.5 kilograms. Ibran TV senior reporter Aiboje Igoria 
on this report takes a look at the current costs of the product and its attendant impact on some residents in Lagos State. A visit to some of the gas stations around Lagos State shows that the cost of cooking gas has increased by over 240 percent. According to market survey, 12.5 kg, which was formerly 4,250 Naira, is now 8,155 Naira. 6 kg initially sold for 2,400 now sells for 3,900 Naira, while 5 kg stands at 3,250 Naira. Some of the patrons at the gas station who lamented the situation said it makes life very difficult. What we produce in our backyard, that is what we are buying at this amount of money. I mean, it is, it is, it is painful. It is painful. So imagine, imagine people who are receiving a, a, a minimum wage of 30,000, buying a bottle of uh, gas, a cylinder of gas, 12.5 uh, uh, for 8,000. I mean, you can imagine what Nigerians are going through. We bought 9,000 naira. This money is not easy to get now. We were, I even asked, I even asked some people, I had this, I have the people who are selling the gas. I had the team, they say, they are remove tax out of the gas. I said, okay, if you are remove tax out of the gas, where are we people who are paying the tax? Where are we people who are paying the tax before? So now we are paying double tax with that now. So I was trying to talk to the next thing. So, it's affecting us too much. Government, I'm begging government to lower the price come down. On how soon the price would return to what it used to be, Executive Secretary of the Nigeria Association of Liquefied Petroleum Gas, Basi Essen, of camera said the association has since 8th of November 2021 written an open letter to the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Presiva, on the need for federal government to intervene. He said the cost of 20 metric tons of liquefied petroleum gas as of January 2020 was 3.4 million but went up to 5.4 million as at December 2020 and has since October 2021 increased to 11 million naira. SN therefore emphasized that only the federal government can help regulate the hike in the price. As the price of cooking gas continues to increase, there is the fear that many Nigerians may soon revert to the use of firewood for cooking.